Welcome back to A Way Out. So, we're back here, and now we're going to see some of the alternate paths we could have seen. If it, it, So, remember, at this particular junction, uh, we did it things the Vincent way. Now let's try it the Leo way, hey, see what happens. Let's go that way. We should be able to sneak under the bridge. What? No, it's way too high. Too risky. It really is amazing, considering that Vincent was an indicator for a cop, mm -hmm. so... He knowingly put his life Well, remember on. Jova, remember Jova, like you said, he's an FBI for agent. Kind of missions, uh, yeah, for these kind of missions, and t it's like in Mission Impossible. If yeah. you get caught, the agency will disprove any relation with you. Not just and that, Jova, but uh, for the sake of covert operations, the cops themselves are never brought into the, the mold for the sake of extra. Because yeah. the, the, the more people know about it, the le the more likely it is to fall oh, apart. God, just clear. Tell me this is going and that actually is how these sting the operations work in real life also. Oh, oh I, I remember the Dweebs chose his option when you pressed. The yeah, I did. Alright, so yeah. let's... And I, tried to, and, I tried to, and I tried to run everyone out. Let's see if my brother does now. I think another cool hint is like, well, Vincent definitely stressed never to kill anyone who was innocent or, you know, somebody who wasn't, you know, evil. Now, when it came to, you know, actual criminals, that he was okay with shooting with because, well, he's a cop. He has a license to do that. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, remember, yeah, I remember this bit when um, I was driving this car and Paige was telling me, all right, Dez, you have to slowly sneak around and drive around. And I went full speed and ran everyone out. That doesn't surprise me in the least. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and hey, the fact that you can actually do that is a nice sense of variety, the likes of which I don't see often. Who's in that car, huh? Uh oh. Oi, oi, you've got a license for that. Drive! Okay, fuck the stuff. Let's go! For comparison's sake, I don't see variety this often, you know, since like stuff like Warp for Cybertron. The War for Cybertron is made by High Moon Studios, the same people who brought us the Deadpool game. So you can bet that they're good with interactivity. <laughs> they survived. That was not a fun ride. They side ride it better than Bill Cosby and Ghost Dad does. Ugh. Action movie logic, too. Yeah. Yes. Well, keep it well. Let's be thankful, but it's not uh, Autobund, uh, Coppoli, say, 11. Uh, that basically, a German crime TV series where cars explode every two seconds. All right, Dwebs, uh, since you yourself was, were all uh, play this part with me, go ahead. Okay, in this bit, um, you have to uh, make a mind a couple. Mm -hmm. yep. You might remember how we in the previous, in the normal playthrough, we did things kind of my way. Let, let's try a different one. Uh, what, what was it? Oh, yeah. way? I forgot. What was your way, Pedro? Well, you'll see. Hold on. I actually forgot now what was the one that I did in the main I believe there's something that we find out about this couple. No, no, no. The couple is just here for the sake of us being able to get provisions and shit. Was it something about them being Nazis or something? No. Oh, no, Joe, they're just uh, conservatives. So. Yeah. That barn over there. Why All right. I oh yeah, I think yeah, it, we're going to do things the Vincent way in this one as well. Yeah, I think. What, what I did was just tie them up, um, eat their food, mess around with their um, electricity. Basically, I run up. I decided to run up their electricity bill. Whatever, man. Let's yeah. Try it. Okay, come on. <laughs> Crap! It's locked. Oh yeah. How do you know they got horses in there? It's a horse barn, Leo. What else should they have? But still, you sound so sure. Like I said, I mean, uh, in the main playthrough, we did things the Leo way. Yeah. However, Vincent's plan yeah. is different. We're going to release the horses so that they hey, themselves would try that. using their, uh, would try to chase Maybe the horses and they'll leave the, the, the house. So, yeah, let's see if we can find a way to enter the barn. But first, let's see what's around here. Hmm. Cows. Cows. Yeah. Yeah. And if you look yeah, over but... there, you can see Jim. And Prison, yeah. what's her name? Yeah, a bunch of, bun bunch of cows like that elderly woman, the Westboro Baptist Church member. Oh, Sorry, you can that. feed the cows. I can't help Even though they don't, don't look that interested. Right now. Dwibs, everyone hates them. Don't worry. Well, yeah, no, 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 no. The, the cow well, is my... clearly not interested. For remember, this, like, fuck off. Remember, Shui, my head cannon is that. Uh, my head cannon is that they're just, they're just a bunch of elderly racist plebs. Hmm. Can't, can't get their heads out of the night. A way in uh, the the long awaited prequel. I mean, you've seen the inside <laughs> of the house. You've seen the inside oh, look, of the house. It still looks like the night. Chickens. 
Let's check the chickens. I think you I punch think... saw one to punch one of them because you didn't oh, there get you go. my brother. Fun. My brother found the ladder. I think the chickens are after this. Actually, never mind. Honey, why is the ladder move? Well, does oh, consider. I seriously doubt that the, that the couple has X-ray vision and can see through the barn. Especially because they're very elderly. Again, the the racist plebs are probably paranoid. Oh, you'd be surprised. There's some people who are perfectly comfortable with being that way. Those yeah. are the real scum. No, no, no. If they they, they want to hide the. So, they're really how do you horses. release the horses here? Well, you open their. Well, yeah, but it's not that easy. Like you have to make sure they don't, you know, they, they react normally to you. And these two are perfect strangers to them. Let's see. There Hello, horses. Horse. Let's release them. Standing tall <sighs> on the wings of my dream. Well, All right. Seems pretty comfortable. Yep. Okay. Let's free them. All right. Hey, you, you are free. There you go, Spirit. You're free from the I'm, touches of Lucky. I'm gonna and ride. Dreamworks. I'm riding free. So I come along. That's what Joker was about to start singing. <laughs> so. Nah, I just had to do Stand and Tall because Perfect Strangers. Love that song and that's, show. I mean, to be fair, Leo kinda is a bit like Bronson Pinch. <laughs> Alright. The horses seem very uninterested. Hold on. I get that's because, just, let me guess, we gotta spook them. This farm them. has that's some really boring, boring animals. <laughs> They're not that impressed. Gee, just imagine saying, that. Oh, like, it, it's, it, uh, unfortunately, horses are easily spooked. Free to leave now. You're free to leave now. Come on. So, there, apparently, these horses have not, did not get the message, Shiro, I guess. <laughs> yeah, not the hammer. Hmm. All right, He's so a may, yeah, a loud horse. Oh, sorry, a loud horse. A loud noise. Yeah, Vincent, if you do that, you're clearly not gonna Start respond. Moving, you need to be. <laughs> and heck, Start you, moving, you might even it. just get kicked. You know. Mm. Yeah, what start can, moving, damn it. What Maybe can, we should open. I guess we should open the door. As I already did. Uh, no, Vincent tried, but uh, he closed it because of not. All right, let's see if there's vision. anything up here. Oh, look at this. this might make enough noise to mm -hmm. scare the horses. Yeah, I think it should be. Let's Help me try push it. this thing. Uh, Is that a cement mixer? Yes. Yes. This probably Did would you... make. I guess we needed to rip, make some repairs. Just yell the at water. them that their owners are assholes and be tattling notes. And there we go. Uh, well, that'll spook anyone. There you go. Yeah. Horses be strong enough for that. Oh, I'll be damned. Oh dear, didn't we lock the barn? Of course I did. Come on, let's go. It's what you deserve, you Nazi plebs. Yeah. Wow. Your horses. Yes, you're clearly gonna catch up for my Oh, Dribs Good luck, Dribs is he. Okay, Dribs, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you must be a really big fan this of Bioshock Infinite. Those are some really senile old people. Anyway. Nah, again, Jeff, the, the, my head all right, is remember? Just, all right, so now we're going to do uh, this particular thing the Leo way. Let's see. Oh, yeah, remember. Remember, as Vincent, I convinced Leo to not go ape shit. You have to excuse my, my, my partner. He hasn't yeah. had his morning coffee yet. Now let's try actually threatening. Leo's right. <laughs> Come on, we don't have time for this. Whoa, whoa, hey! I'm calling the cops! You gonna do what? Hey, relax. Don't worry, I got this. What's your name? <laughs> what do you You're need my name to for? Me. What's You're your talking name? to me. All right. What's your it's fucking Larry. name? All right, Larry, this is how it's gonna be. Me and my friend here, we're gonna walk in there, we're gonna see your boss, Ray. Once we do that, I'm gonna break every bone in his body until I get the information I need. <laughs> now think long and hard about what you're gonna say next. If it's not gonna be, hey guys, you're welcome, then we have a problem. Wait, are you serious? Do I look like I'm joking? Do I? Oh, okay then. I hate that guy. Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, go fuck ahead. Him, so yeah, go ahead. Ah. Go ahead. Fuck him up. Well, 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 you got away your, you oh. your helmet. Hey, where can okay. I find him? It's All right. Easy. Just ask around. All right, Larry. Okay, Thank children. You. The yeah. lesson of today is honesty pays. Yeah. <laughs> but what about but what about your helmets? Oh, he knows they'll find them. I guess that's one way of doing wow. it. Wow. Well, it worked, didn't it? Okay, that's yeah, a pleasant surprise. Did, and the thing is, like, well, there know, are people like that nice in real life. Too. Like, here's the thing: if you're I'm a sure boss does, or an employee, treat your like peers well, because trust yeah, me, right. someday they you may be working for you, or you'll be boy. working for them. You, know, <laughs> you want to be on their I don't good know what side. You're talking about. Relax now, tough guy. Are you being sarcastic? 
me? Nah. <laughs> Just keeping you honest. Aww. Keeping me honest about what? You being a nice little boy. Oh, hey. God. There was foreshadowing in that line. Mm -hmm. Gas station. You think they'll oh, have right, enough the gas money? station. They better have. I'm not going after Harvey with just a handgun. So yeah, yeah. now we're going well, to charge in guns, boys. There's only one way to of find course. out. Yeah, of course. Yeah. The right way. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> See, it webs is exactly why you always play as Leo. Look, we need to keep a low profile. It really That's does really make sense, thing. though, because I was wondering, best, how the heck is Vincent it's like, expecting to come out of this back way. to his Okay, she right question. I'm get okay, she right question. Uh, if you and Alice play this game, who's gonna play who? Um, well, I thought, I thought I would be Leo, but to my surprise, um, Alice would probably pick Leo, so... Wait, 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 so yeah. you're the more methodical My, my recommendation is to pick the character that fits your personality. Mm -hmm. Which is why I always, which is why I always give Leo two dwips. Besides, besides, if you just, if you just randomly lurking around the shop, you just gonna look suspicious anyway. So basically, that's why I was surprised because Alice is actually more tactful. Like she plays a lot of games that require pre-planning. So, so what makes you think that she would be better as Leah? Then I'm curious. Um, well, I, I didn't give her any spoilers, but I have told her about this game before, and I mentioned the two different playstyles, and she said she probably would go for Leo's playstyle. So I'm like, oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There should be safe so you'd be the somewhere. brains and she'd be yeah, the Yeah, I better sabotage the film as well. Mm -hmm. so no one can hear us. Well, okay, okay. I mean, I'm fine with both playstyles because oh God, um, my paranoia kind of Vincent. helps with being tactful. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. And by that I mean I'm kind of, go. you know, hiding around <laughs> waiting for an opening okay. <laughs> that will make me sense. <laughs> oh, well, I see. Oh. So you're pretty good with camping then. Something. Yes. <laughs> Or hiding, but yeah, camping, we'll call it that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, you know, okay, and you know what, to Leo's credit, he's not incredibly dumb, he's tactful, it's just that his ones always involve force first. I don't have it. So they go, now I'm the one uh, asking for the, the combination. I don't hurt you. But yeah, I, I don't want to hurt you, but I will I if I have to. to. Wonder, just give me the combination, please. I, I do have to wonder, though. Okay, relax. We, okay, now One, we know three, that Vincent seven. is more One, not three, bluffing seven. because even with the cop thing going for him, he wouldn't be allowed to, you know, kill her. Which is why he's I always mean, trying his best to avoid Leo from forcing him to do something like that. I guess it does beg the question, what would he have done if she had forced his hand, like... <laughs> I I'm guessing you probably would have just... There you go. Oh, there you go. The, the, the guy who yelled out managed to time the call. Uh, run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! And then one of the developers had a fatal heart attack and the cop was actually the metal puzzle. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow, they got there pretty quick. <laughs> Alright, who's up for a Connect for? Right. Me. Well, oh, you know, I think we could take a break during the Oh, yeah, I think we speed. did play this at the hospital, but sure, I get another round. No, well. no, we didn't. I oh, think it was Reeves, uh, it was yeah. Reeves then. Alright, so, uh, connect and win. Okay, so let's see. Place your bets, guys. Who will win? Uh, um, is it still you versus your brother here? Yes. Uh, you brought sure. you, Honestly, you, you, connect you brought Connect 4 is one of those games where no matter how you keep your wits, uh, uh, both parts are evenly matched. It's just a matter of that's taking of the, advantage of the situation. That's one of the brilliances of the game, too. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's simple yet effective. Just like, uh, what's the name? You know they're probably going to try and make a movie. <laughs> Didn't we already get confirmation that there was going to be a Connect 4 movie with... Oh, wait, never mind, never mind. That was that's a, a Tetris movie, Joe. A Tetris yeah, movie that it. involves... A Tetris yes, movie uh, that involves hacking, I believe. Made by the guy who made the Mortal Kombat. Uh, and food fights. Yeah. Let's see. Honestly, Jova, since you brought her up, if me and Alice decide to stop Let's to see. play this minigame, oh, we'll probably I, I think for like an I hour. I think you won, Pedro. Really? So. Yep, there you yep. go. I emerged victorious. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. I, I was right to bet on Pedro, because he had red. Wait! Wait. Oh, never mind, never mind. We can, we can play as off, we, we can play as many times as we want. That's nice. Yeah, like hey, I said, we'll probably just stop I, and play I, this for an hour. Hey, I recognize those two. They're those people that walked up. 
Store security. Um, excuse you, we're trying to play a game here. Not just yeah. that, please remember, Vincent managed to cover the newspaper when we got you here. You can arrest so. us later, don't be rude. Uh, there we go, in this case, we are playing Connect 4. Boom. Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> it's a serious game, guys. Come on. Hey, yeah. I just realized something. The all right, so one win for it. all right, one win for it. well, okay, fine. A tie. We I, 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 oh, I, well. I, we'll leave it as a tie. Why not? Yes, uh, Jova. Does the, the star on the side of Leo's deck? I'm wondering if that's a subtle Shenmue reference. Wait. All right, so now let's actually try this something. Try this differently with the guard. The Vincent right. way. Since last time we did it the Leo way. All right, shoot. Right. No, guys, we already tried the Leo way, and it didn't involve shooting even. Also, Dweeb, shooting in a hospital... Before? Yeah. Nah. They've got silences, haven't they? Huh. No, no they don't. Right now, they don't have any weapons, Dweebs. <laughs> well, actually, no, never mind, sorry, I forgot. They do have weapons, but they didn't bring it in here because, well, hospital. Hospital. But your faces See that are so familiar. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere. Let's talk, talk our way out of it. Yeah. It's probably me. It is? Yeah, I'm here. Oh my god, in hindsight it probably is him since he's a member of the force. Okay. Classic. Oh, the cops are germaphobe. Not only that, in the 70s it it was a very easy excuse because all the people were ignorant about pathology. There was also the thing that, you know, we didn't have as many common cures as we do nowadays, so Exactly, so there was a general fear. Oh, and now to kill the bastard. Here you go. Here we go. You know what's amazing? Still can't like, get well, over the golden god. That, that, that's over. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think what I love of it is like, well, this alone does feel like it could You're have been Leon. a climatic ending. Kill by your own gun. How fitting. <laughs> All right. Let's see how Leo handles this. And then it turns, and then it turns out they're like B and B for Vendetta when they spiked his drink, and he's actually already dead. Did you really think you could get away? Did you? Take it easy. You got me. Why'd you do it, Leo? Take it Shut easy. Shut up! I trusted you, you piece of shit. Why did uh, you do it? Okay, you know, this is kind of foreshadowing for why Leo would feel guy. extra betrayed by Vincent. That's what you're here mm -hmm. for, right? The diamond. It's all yours. I mean, here Vincent is trying to be a, I mean, here Leo is. Yes, how he does it is wrong, but he does have a thing about honesty. Like, it seems like he's a guy who's been forced into the criminal life, but he still tries to be as straight as he possibly can. Well, that's what well, we even criminals have their own code. Well, so. that's all and, then, and then he dies before he can open the safe. Beep, 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 beep. Oh no, it's not the safe from the store, so. And again, the gun in the side there? Yeah. Yeah. Let him go! Put the fucking gun down! So yeah, from this point on, it's pretty much kind of like the same, just Put like. It uh... down now. Uh, I think what helps is like, well, while both do have their different, Which actually makes me wonder, like, if Leo dies here at this point where uh, Mr. Jackass is dead, does it still uh, if, count if, as if, a game if, over? Yes, it does. If, if Leo dies in here, uh, you'll see a game over, yes. Then you'll just oh. go back at the checkpoint. So, question... So this is one of those games that while your choices do matter to an extent, it still has a story to tell, so... Okay, so we're about to see how the Leo ending goes, but I guess I have I a question. I, um, I intentionally let, let my brother kill kill me for this one. Go so ahead. I guess my one question is this. What happens if you know, like, well, okay, and um, what happens if Leo wins the boat section, since that's the only difference we've not seen? Well, like I've explained, uh, if, Leo, if Leo wins the boat section, the, the level will just end in a, with slightly differently, but will still lead to the same path. Oh, I get that, I get that. I was just wondering, you know, what are the changes, you know, like, well, and how the scene... I did I, I did see it, however, it, it was just like a minimal difference where he leaves the boat and then you chase him. It's, trust me, it's not okay. that, it's not that interesting. Like, we, it's not that moving worth... Uh, yeah, this, though... It's this just a slight <laughs> sequence difference, either. I love how the game shows you flashbacks saying, yeah, you're ending this person's life. Keep going, a-hole. There you go. See, as you get... So, obviously, I also absolutely love um, Joseph's direction. Like, he does such a fantastic job with it. Oh, yeah, for the entire game, uh, 
he, like that sequence in the hospital, the go deeper, the interconnects, and then goes full uh, streets of rage for a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but now he's gonna be branded cop killer and that. Oh god, that well, is actually a thing. Yeah, this is actually, as far as we can tell, at least um, the first time Leo actually kills someone. And uh, and that's the thing, killing someone is one thing, but when you kill a cop, that's even worse. Well, Cops guys. generally don't take well to one. All right, here we go. Nope. Again, it's uh, again considering my health, it's practically impossible for me to arrive there first. There you go. I believe the sentence for uh, offing a cop is uh, pretty uh, hefty. Yeah. Yeah. Aim. Fire. Suspense. Pulse with dramatic effect. Yes. <laughs> you want this to hurt. Oh, yeah. I got a family, man. So, so do I. So do I. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, oh, oh, yeah, and then and then and then when he dies, he shaves his ridiculous beard off. You mean Leo's beard? Yeah. No. Uh, um. Oh, Vincent. Well, Vincent only has a mustache. I mean, no, 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 no. Leo has the mustache. Oh, course. never. Oh, never mind. You're right. Vincent has a beard. Right. You're right. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, oh the ladder. He actually wrote it. Uh... Yeah. Please give this to my wife. Yeah, I think honest, uh, honestly, I think this makes a bit more sense yeah. with the final oh, handshake yeah. thing. To Carol. Just put it for the post box or something. She won't know. I think it would be better if. I don't think he's gonna make it person. to the post box. No, I meant, I meant, I meant the other girl. Yeah, 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 yeah sure. Yeah. But uh, no, I realized that after I said it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, I may be dead, but I can still deliver this post. I like both endings, no but I think, that, yes, I, think I prefer this particular version of the ending, actually. Yeah. Why is that? Well, well, the, 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 well we the idea the, I'm uh, touching again, makes I a bit more sense. Uh, in, 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 in Vincent's ending, it's more so like um, he Vincent a trying to... Uh, uh, not, not just that, uh, holding his hand while he's dying, you know? Notice how um, no, 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 notice how the co-op winner of the player who loses disappears. So and so Elvis yeah. Presley was the winner. So here's hey, the thing. Thank you Le very much. So so if Leo's in, and sure, he'll probably be able to escape. But now that he's a cop killer, who oh boy. Obviously, yeah, how's this gonna go? Obviously he's gonna have to run away. He's committed murder, that's one thing, but the murder of a cop? Not only is that oh, going to be a heavy he's sentence... He's probably going to be charged on all the murders that happened on the island as well. Not only that, the... Uh, <laughs> if Vincent was a member of the FBI, who oh boy! Thank God, now oh my you, God, now Leo has a beard as well. Well, I guess <laughs> it makes sense going into hiding. Yeah. Yeah, don't ring the doorbell, just post it through the letterbox. That think about it. I th so you, you can still, still, you can still give her the message. Just post it for the post box or something. Yeah, but code of honor though makes you wonder. Maybe you should deliver to her face to face, considering. That's oh, a, that's a thing. Leo, well, yeah, Leo, Leo, can do that. Leo doesn't just doesn't have the heart to tell her. Wow, it's amazing. I'm sorry, your husband is dead. Uh, by the way, I killed him. You know, that's actually quite interesting. It, it's interesting seeing how opposite they are. With Vincent, Vincent went straight to the wife of Leo, but then again, he was a cop, so he would have better authority in that regard. Leo, Leo's probably a wanted man now, and even if that weren't the case, I have to wonder if he can't even bear to see to her because he feels like he actually did betray Vincent. Sure, there was the heat Carol, of the moment and everything, well, but no, just just me, no one ever thinks so straight sorry. in the heat Here's of the letter. Here's what the letter says. I'm sorry for the broken promises. By the time you read this, I'll be dead. dead. I'm sorry for no longer being the man you fell in love with. 
My biggest regrets are all the moments we didn't get to spend together. From now on. How touching. The ending where we actually see the contents of the letter and our are in the daughter. one where Vincent dies. If you let me, I'll be the husband you once loved and the father I know I can be. How much more salty are to Dante? Vincent. <laughs> and she rejected him, it's so... It's like in the South Park movie, we get an entire truck on Ken. Oh god, can you imagine if Rio read the letter, how guilty he must feel? Because that's a thing. Sure, Leo was not thinking clearly. You have to wonder. Well, he was conflicted, uh, that's for sure. So I guess he. Uh, I mean, again, we can always go. Maybe Leo would have calmed down eventually, but that's the thing. It was the heat of the moment. That's where a lot of rationality goes out the window, sadly. I don't know about tell. I wonder if he'll be able to go on the run with this train. Oh, no, or if he's it's on the one from Heavy Rain. I was about to mention it. And there you can see Ethan jumping from the rooftop and not having a single scratch. Yes. <laughs> oh, I guess he did take his family on the run. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hey. Linda, are you guys ready to leave? We are. Are you sure no one was following you? Yeah, yeah. I'm I fine. guess wow. they want to. Pl they're planning on going to Mexico over the border. Fine. Somewhere that's not here. Actually, has this whole story been taking place in one state? I see. Yeah, if, if I recall correctly, I yeah, don't let me think check so. quickly. No, I think um, I remember mentioning this in the beginning, the first part. I think. Let me check. Jim, what's the closest? What's the closest state to Mexico? Uh, New Texas. Mexico and Texas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe he wasn't a member of the FBI. Maybe he was a member of just the State Bureau. So maybe they're leaving the state to go elsewhere. <coughs> okay. Welcome to Mississippi. <laughs> if this was contained, you know, a state, while it will be personal with the Bureau, news may not travel that far out. If it was the FBI, news would travel far out, but he doesn't look like he was part of the FBI. Either way, though, Ready? you want to get the heck out of Dodge. Aim. Yeah. Fire. Hey, you know, that's Aim. a thing. Vincent, of course, Fire. gets a big Aim. funeral because he was a cop. Fire. Leo, the only one that can grieve him is his wife, and, son, and that's only because Vincent let them know. As far as I know, um, as far as I know, but police funerals, we don't have uh, them shooting the sky here. Press F to pay respects. I think I think we just have a regular funeral. It's just most of the most of the people in attendance are from his from his from his police area. In some occasions there are even the kennels, but I don't remember which specific one it is. Yeah, I don't know, I can't be sure. That's not something we generally do around here either, so Yeah. Oh Leo, are you about to shed a tear? And so mm -hmm. off he goes into... Because uh, for maybe, just maybe, a long theme. time, da -dun, da -dun, you had a friend. Judgment Day is inevitable. It's, it's Termi- it's- I, I'm going for Terminator 1's of a theme. Wow, I mean, okay, I'm gonna say this, I like both endings equally. Um, I'll, I'll give you a thought quickly, because I better- I better go. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, Luz. Um... Yeah, I like this ending better. It's more uh, sadder and it's more feels and that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, you guys go over your. All right. Do I have a sushi, Roy? Which ending do you prefer? You, you prefer this winning as well, right? Yeah, but both are great. I just like this one just that little bit more. Because there's more mm. consequence to it. And well... also the letter. It's it's nice to see what happened with that because, you know. Like I assume that the wife never got it in the other vision because no, she got it. It's just alive. Just, no, no, like, she got it. She just no, she just does. See he it. hands it to her actually when they reunite. It's just that she, we didn't actually see what was written in it. Hmm. It would have been nice to. Uh, it would have been nice to actually see what was written in it. But I guess it's more fitting for uh, the content of this version of the ending. Indeed. All right. Yeah. So that was the yep. way out. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, basically, just, I'll, keep, I'll keep quick. Uh, yeah, I prefer this ending too. I think there's a bit more... Uh, I think it's Wait. a bit more reasonable because of the letter, because of 
immediately you're going to hiding and miss and getting an horrible uh, instead of the first one being a bit more miserable with Vince having to tell a wife and getting you know, angry uh, as a result because of that it's uh, this ending makes a bit more sense it's a it's a bit more bittersweet there is a bit more balance well the, uh, if it's Leo who dies, it's uh, downright completely negative. Yeah, for uh, me, I like them. Oh uh, no, no, no mm-hmm. I'll take it back because Vincent manages to rekindle uh, his romance with his wife. So there is that in the Leo end. So yeah. there is that. But in general, I prefer this ending. Yeah, for me, uh, the reason I like them equally is like, well, to me, they feel like two halves of a full story. Like, well, you definitely need to see both endings to see the full story. And it does it in a way that I think they complement each other well down to, you know, um, on the very line of the spectrum. I mean, it's that they're different, but also the same in regards. Like, they both have a handshake, but they mean different things. Like, in Leo's case, you know, when Vincent is the victor, it's a sign of respect. When Leo is the victor, it's a sign of desperation, but still a sign of friendship as well. And I just like how each of them complement themselves. While they handle how things go differently, they still feel like there's a great relation to them. It Mm -hmm. really does make you want to see about where they both survive, but hey, that'll probably go down in history as top 10 wishes of gamers, along with trying to find a way that Aerith will survive in Final Fantasy (laughs) VII. Yes. Uh, That's never going to happen. Never, ever. <laughs> never, ever, ever. All right. So, yeah, I like him equally. So, Pedro, which ending do you prefer? I'm actually going to be contrarian. I actually prefer the, um, the Vincent ending for one particular reason. I feel like the direction of it, specifically the handshake at the end, I feel like I kind of preferred the way it's directed there. I mean, I don't know. I can't, I can't quite explain place it well, I think I but, there's some, but there's something about the way it's directed like like the, the Vincent's face and come on with Leo's face whereas that one I don't know something about the way Leo's ending is directed kind of felt a bit off to me I, I can maybe it's just because I saw the Vincent ending first but I don't know just just the Vincent ending really I feel like it's just a perfectly directed cutscene Whereas this one, I don't know. There's something about the direction that feels off to me. I can't quite place it. If it um, comes down to the handshake, I think I see what you mean. With the Vincent ending, it, it feels like it's definitely a sign of respect. Whereas with the Leo ending, it feels like a bout of desperation and more like a favor Leo's doing. And I think it's the facial expressions in Vincent ending that really sell it. I don't know. That's just my theory on why you like it better. I like them equally, but I can see why one would prefer one over the other. They're just that good. Indeed. Well, everybody, that was a way out. I hope you enjoyed this as much as we did. So tune in for oh, whatever I Joseph Ferris them. next. Make, tune in for for the next time that Joseph Ferris uh, tells the Oscars to fuck off. You no, know, I don't say this often. It seems to be working well for him. So, David, you might want to drop the whole movie thing. Yeah, I mean, just imagine when he gets out of the indie game and gets into the actual playing field, you're going to have some direct competition. And who knows if Sony tries to contract Joseph. It doesn't seem like it, Joe. Remember, um, Joseph himself was a filmmaker and he left the filmmaking industry to make games because because he really, because because the medium itself excited him. Not just that, Joseph is... Right, I remember he said that he's very in tune uh, still with EA, so he's gonna keep that friendship for a bit. Not just that, well, EA not, did not, not screw that up. Not just that, he expressed disdain for the film industry in general and says that he prefers the game industry in general, anyway. So, I wasn't anyway. talking about Sony picking him up for films, I was talking about Sony contracting him for games. All right, everybody, see ya. Yeah. Then. See ya.